Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to talk a little bit about, and I'll promise that I'll keep it short, uh, I'm going to be talking a little bit about, I guess, the pitfalls of uh, working on a side project at home. Uh, many of us who work full time will, will understand this, uh, and it's always good to keep working on side projects at home. You know, in whatever language that you work in, it's always good to build out and practice and, you know, hone in your skills and, you know, learn new libraries and different tools uh, and etc, etc. Uh, the only problem when you when you work full time is that, you know, you, you guess that there's just not enough time. Uh, by the time you get home, you're just so drained from the entire day that your your critical thinking, analytical skills um, aren't aren't 100 percent basically. Um, so you know, a, a trick that I do is, and I'll come back to that. But like, I want to talk a little bit about. You know, working full time and then having the weekends to basically work on your side projects, right? So that really leaves Saturday and Sunday, if you work full time, that is. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, that really leaves Saturday and Sunday to work on your on your full time uh, your side projects. Um, so you know, you you work full time, and basically you have Saturday and Sunday where you just go in basically at where you start say you eat your lunch at twelve twelve thirty, and then you you know. You start your project around one o'clock, and that leaves you with a good eight nine hours um, to basically just work in a side project. And then you have, and if you do the same thing on Sunday, so you have a good, you know, sixteen hours. Now the thing with coding is, once you start coding, you know, you start encountering problems. You start encountering different bugs, which take time to fix. You know, all these things take time, and you know, your your goal should be not only to work faster every time with every project but also incorporate as much as you can incorporate as much useful knowledge into your projects as you can at the same time you know learning from your past pitfalls from your past mistakes and just you know uh, you want to keep working as fast as you can that should be your goal or one of your many goals while working on side projects uh, now say you're learning a, a new library right whatever the library is and say it takes you a few hours to like a day to like really really like understand it right like the basics at least uh, and you know say you start that on a sun Saturday on a Sunday uh, you really only have like two days until the next weekend and then now you now you're coming back after like an entire like five days almost like almost an entire week and now you, you know the whole thing about looking at your code from a month ago or a week ago once you get out of that that trance, once you get out of that, um, you know that whole like the the concentration mode of coding, um, it's it's really hard to like get back into it, um, you know right away. You have to spend at least a good half an hour, twenty minutes, to really like re kind of reread what you did the last time, because you know being the human beings that we are, we forget we forget what we wrote. It happens to me all the time. If I if I look at something I wrote you know like a month or two ago i'll be like wait what what does this do like what is that until i have to go back and you know read through it again and um you know i guess i guess what i'm trying to say is like that's like the only pitfalls of doing side projects while working full-time if you work part-time that's a different story then you have you know a few days here and there and then um you work on little challenges every day that you're working and then you know the days that you're not working you can you know invest the entire day in, in working on those full-time projects uh, that's why if you look at my github Saturdays and Sundays are all mainly green and everything in the middle is like minimal because so a, a strategy that I use now is I'll work on building out my app on Saturday and Sunday I'll spend those two days building out my app and then basically Monday through Friday after work I'll do like a short course on you know something else or I'll, I'll read I'm reading a book on react so I'll read a few pages on that or something minimal where yes I'm not working um, I'm not really 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 investing in like fixing bugs or like you know working on a small little feature of my app where I'm using my time wisely now I'm learning different things on different days and giving the you know two hours that I have at night after after getting home from work, so it's all about using your time wisely, and th this is just one of the strategies that I you know that I use, and 
this has come to me overnight. Like it took me a while to really adopt this strategy. Uh, you might have your own. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to vent a little bit about the pitfalls of building side projects while working full time. Uh, it's always great because you don't want to stop. You want to keep learning. You want to keep doing no matter how much little time that you have. Um, but yeah, if you have any suggestions or any comments or any of your tips or tricks, just, you know, send me a message or comment below and, you know, we can talk more. And uh, I think that's it for this one, guys. Uh, I told you I'd keep it nice and short, so good five minutes, five and a half minutes. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.